Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Parshat Shmot, The Greatness of Moshe Rabbeinu. We see as he grows up, Ramban says he was told that he is a Jew. And the first reactions really show the Gadluta Adam, the greatness of Moshe Rabbeinu. First thing we see is he goes and he kills the Egyptian who was oppressing the Jew. Second thing we see is that he gets involved in the five team Datan of Aviram. Third thing, as a fugitive, we see he goes in and helps the daughters of Yitro. Just a man who, whenever he sees an issue, doesn't matter what, and humbly points out, whether it's the good guys against the bad guys, or the bad guys oppressing the good guys, and you identify with the good guys in such a case. That was case number one. What about when there's no bad guys, good guys, no one's oppressing the weak, it's just two Jews fighting. Doesn't matter, of course, there also he helps. And what about it's not Jewish people at all, it's Gentiles. Still, he helps it as well. Just a man of justice. He sees a miscarriage of justice, he must be involved, risk his life, doesn't make a difference. That's the greatness of Moshe Rabbeinu. And the question, of course, is, does he come to that, uh, he's just born that way? And the answer, of course, is a resounding no. Regarding the uh, first case of killing the Mitzvah, is an interesting discussion. Chum Leibis quotes a Medrash that actually uh, challenges whether it's the right thing to do. If, if he sees someone killing a Jew, you have to go ahead and, and say he's a Rodef. But uh, what if he's just hitting a Jew? So it's an interesting analysis there in the Midrash uh, whether uh, Moshe was right for killing the Egyptian or not. But that's another discussion. So how did Moshe reach such a level? So the fact is, the Pasuk says... By Yar, he went out to see what was doing. And according to the Amid Gavara, Vistakel Harbe, he took a long, hard look at what is going on, what is the situation here, is it just a, an employer employee relationship where people are, are, are supposed to be producing? Are they afflicting them just for the sake of Enoi to, to afflict them and put them down? What is going on? And he looked and he analyzed the situation. And the more he saw, the more he understood this is not right. And the more he felt the pain of the people. So I think it's a very, very important step that we don't miss out on. We shouldn't think, yes, Moshe Rabbeinu, he was born special, he was born with that connection to all you mankind. It's not true. He worked on it, yes, he had more potential than the average person, that's true. But in terms of each person actualizing his potential, we have the same abilities as Moshe Rabbeinu to actualize our potential like he actualized his potential and the first step was to go out and to see and to identify with the pain of the other and then to act. In part two I'd like to elaborate on this concept that applies to our daily lives. Shalom.